do swear by the Almighty God that the evidence I shall give touching upon matters before the Commission. Appearing before the UNRWA committee chaired by Justice Catherine Bamgemere, the chairman of the Committee of Inquiry set up in 2009, Justin Eperu, reported that he had handed these findings reached by his committee to the Minister of Works, but was surprised to learn after two years that the report could not be traced. Professor Justin Eperu Opio told the committee that while traversing East African countries, they found out that Uganda had irregularities in its operations on the weighing bridges. And we also found that the, the fines were so low there was not fixed fine, but so low to the extent that transporters were just laughing at what was happening at the way bridges. A Peru added that in their investigations, they found out that incompetent staff were manning way bridges. These people are, were not qualified to even to be at the way bridges. Some of them, most of them, you had school teachers, you had the uh, UC holders, you had the A-level holders, and the training was simply four days of training, and you are put in that work. Can you do that? He further told the committee he was shocked to hear that the report got lost in the hands of various relevant bodies. Called me and sent me a letter asking me if I ever submitted the report of our investigation. And of course, I was forced to laugh at the question. I said I did and I had a PowerPoint presentation in your workshop, in your offices, to the minister, the PowerPoint presentation I've done to you. According to a pair's findings, there were big companies which were consistently dodging the way bridges. This included Aponia, Timka, multiple hauliers and many more. Eperu also told the commission that excessive loading has a great impact on the roads.